want to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with him and uh, I mean I'll talk much let him introduce himself so my name uh, my name is Ali Ali Jape I'm yeah. from Zanzibar in Tanzania yeah I was born and raised here and uh, I work in uh, tourism okay I work in the tourism industry I have a walking tour business nice that nice. Uh, I manage all right all right so um how has it been so far that is um pre-covid post-covid and has Zanzibar recovered from tourism in both ways? Uh, yes. Yeah. During pre COVID, it was very busy. Yeah. When COVID hit, everything went down. Yeah. But I think uh, when COVID hit, uh, it made me discover something new that I didn't know I would, uh, I would have like uh, I would have done before so yeah. I started creating content okay so I started making videos nice and I was making videos posting them on YouTube mainly uh -huh. to share uh, our beauty with people from outside because I realized that most of the content that you see uh -huh. uh, from Zanzibar from most of the places within the continent mm -hmm. most of it is made by people who travel to the continent okay. from outside okay so and, uh, yeah yeah I wanted to do something different more like tell your own story yes to tell our own story yeah. so our own local story told by locals, locals. yeah so oh, African story told by Africans yeah. something like that as much as COVID was a bad thing I guess it brought the positive to some people people were able to think and you know do something good with it yes a yeah lot, a lot and yeah. uh, I think uh, that's uh, sometimes challenges happen yeah and through challenges some yeah. people see opportunities through yeah. those, yeah. and they make us realize certain things that probably we would not have known otherwise all right yeah. all right all right so the same way um, people come from different cultures yeah. to Zanzibar yeah. do Zanzibar people travel outside it's not our priority <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm not sure if it's Zanzibar or uh, many places within the continent, but yeah. I think there are a lot more other things. Here, if someone has money, mm -hmm. it would be like, if I, I have to pay like $3,000 to go for a travel, yeah. it's better that I buy a piece of land for that money. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, so, I mean, in terms of priorities, that's the thing. Yeah. So, uh, I don't think it's our priority. However, there are people who travel out of Zanzibar. Okay. Uh, that, uh, yeah, they travel out of here to other places. But I wish more people from here yeah. would have traveled our own place first, first. Okay. before going out of here. Yeah. Which uh, you see that a lot. A lot of people going out of the place. Yeah. And when they get out there, people ask them, okay, so if I come to your country, what am I able to see? <laughs> and they don't really know as much okay. as how they do from outside. Yeah. So uh, I think it's an interesting thing for, uh, I think it's, that's something that I would have loved to, uh, to see as well. Okay. okay. Started this tourism business here, yeah. yeah, you've experienced different yeah. cultures. Yeah. What are you expecting to for other people to experience? Uh, for me, mostly I think, and uh, what I, uh, I I I want to see is that when people travel to new places, yeah, to be able to, to embrace yeah. a new culture, yeah, and try to learn from it okay. because uh, we as human beings we are different people. Yeah, so my culture is very different to Ghanaian culture, yes. which means if I come to Ghana, I need to be open to learn and understand. And uh, with that way, we can be a lot more open-minded, mm -hmm. I would say. So yeah. uh, it's uh, about people coming here and, uh, you know, feel, uh, you know, getting into the culture and understanding it and yeah. uh, see ways on how you can uh, you can fill that up into your own uh, into experiences. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I think you've been doing this for more than two years. How long have you been doing this? Tourism. Yes, tourism. Over eight, uh, it's over eight years. Over eight years? Over eight years. Wow. You didn't know that. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my I, God. No, you how see, it's, it's <laughs> like because of the internet, that's how I got to know you. So yeah. I just feel like probably it's been two, three years now. Okay. How, but did, how did you know me? I, so I got to know you through uh, this Nigerian YouTuber, Tayo. Okay. When he came to Zanzibar yeah. and he, uh, he interviewed you, yeah. like yeah, you took him to the Stone Town. Stone Town, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how I got to know you. Ah, okay. So, so uh, again, again, that's the good thing about COVID. Because yes. Tayo knew me because COVID happened. Yes. <laughs> I was making videos. Yes. Another person who came uh, saw my content and yeah. they wanted me to take them around. So when he was coming over, yeah. I was able to also meet him. So uh, through that, you see uh, how yeah. things go around. Yeah. So you knew me because also of all of this uh, <laughs> thing that happened. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was, it was good. Yeah. Last year, yeah. I was in Zanzibar, but yeah. 
um, I experienced it differently. Yeah. So this time around, I was coming with a group of friends. I was like, no, this time around, let's you know try and make things different. Yeah. And I, I think it's really, really worth it. You know, I think the, the the beauty of traveling to a place and having someone who understands the place yeah. makes the experience uh, a lot more, uh, a lot better. Yeah. In, in this aspect, mainly when you go to a place, even if you have a guidebook, you have information, you would look at things. Yeah. But sometimes there are a lot of small details that you don't really know. Mm -hmm. And once you get to know of this, you view things differently. Yeah. And uh, you walk around and you have an understanding of a place much better yeah. than uh, what just people talk about. Yeah. What, more than just what you see on a guidebook. Or yeah. like What's your five year plan? So uh, at the moment we're, I'm growing a team okay. of other people. So to be able to currently, perform. sorry, yeah. currently what's your team? How many team members uh, do you have? Like four other people yeah. that work with me. One person in the office, other people work as guides. Okay. And uh, they don't work for me, they work with me. So okay. we work together. Okay. And uh, I, want to, uh, I want to grow the business in terms of the values. Mm -hmm. So uh, for me, it's not for people to do the same way how, like how I do. Yeah. But I want the outcome to be the same. Okay. for uh, everyone who's coming through us. Okay. Which means the experience that you get yeah. when other people come to us mm -hmm. is not about how I did it, yeah. but what outcome you got. So that outcome is what uh, I'm trying to focus on. Basically, they should understand the value. Yeah, so yeah. The, the values, because people are paying for things, yes. which means they need to find uh, you know, some value in what they're paying for. Yeah. And uh, if we are able to deliver that, that uh, helps us a lot. So for me personally, I think my uh, income five years from now is based on the reputation I'm creating today. Okay. And therefore, uh, if uh, I'm doing something today that people are gonna love, which means that's going to help me five years later. Nice. So uh, <laughs> that's the plan, that's the plan. Nice. To grow more uh, people, more locals, yeah. more uh, people from here, to nice. be able to tell our own stories uh, in many different aspects. All right, all right, all right. All right. Describe Zanzibar in three words. Only three words? Yeah. Only three words. Yeah. Okay. So the first word would be serene. So yeah. it's calm, it's yeah. peaceful. Yes. And the second word would be authentic. Yes. And the third word would be diverse. Okay. In terms of the diversity of different cultures mm -hmm. and people. And that's why we adopted a new name for you. We call yes. you Juma. Yes. <laughs> What's so, your name in Ghana? So um, William or Kobena. Okay. Yes. Kobena? Yes. Okay, Kobena. so here we call Juma, we call you Juma. Yes. And if someone is called Juma, aka James. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so there's this funny thing that's been happening. <laughs> each time, so this is my second time here, and um, what happened is that each time someone meets me in town, they start speaking Swahili with me, and I'm like, like what's up? And I'm like, I look like one of them. I'm like, how do I look like one of you? And I'm like, yeah, I don't know, like, I dress like them or, you know, walk like them. So I'm like, no. So I, I just adopted the name Juma or James or Jamesy. <laughs> So yeah, guys, so anytime you see me on the street, just call me Juma, hey, what's up? And I'll respond. I'll like, say, hey, Mambo, Jambo, hey. <laughs> so yeah, so guys, um, I, I guess that is it. And thank you for having me. Thanks to you, my friend, for yeah. coming to Zanzibar, for coming yeah. again to Zanzibar. Yes, yes, And yes. Uh, for everyone watching this video, I mean, uh, uh, you're more than welcome to Zanzibar. <laughs> and not just explore Zanzibar, but to explore different parts within the continent to get to see what uh, uh, our beautiful continent has to offer. Yes, and um, make it a point to, to come to Ghana. Yeah. <laughs> now it's yes, a sign. Now it's, it's a, a sign it's with a everyone sign. that I'm meeting. Yes, it's it will a be sign. like, now I have to go to Ghana. Yeah. Now I have to come to Ghana as well. Yes. So, uh, because you're coming to Zanzibar, so now I have to come to Ghana. Yeah. And you'll be showing me around, right? Definitely, I'll okay. show you around. I'll make the same video as this. Yes. When I'm in Ghana. Yes. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. So. This is the end of the video and you should be expecting more from me, so watch out.